What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be looking at Gung Ho as well as Quick Draw and their relationship with each other so you guys can better understand how to minimize your sprint out as well as aim down sight times and be more effective and win more gunfights while being aggressive and getting up into the enemy's face. The relationship between these two perks or their counterparts from previous games it seems to differ from game to game, so it's definitely different this time around. There's a little trick that I'm going to be sharing with you guys that's very, very important if you're an aggressive player. But first up, let's hop into the basics. Anytime I make one of these videos, people ask, so I have to cover the basics up front here. The first thing we're going to talk about is sprint out time. Now, sprint out time is the delay when going from sprinting to firing your gun. So if you're sprinting and you press the fire button without touching anything else, you just try shooting your gun while you're sprinting, there will be a delay. And this delay does vary from weapon to weapon. Generally, guns like LMGs will have a very slow sprint out time, so you'll be punished quite a bit if you're caught sprinting. Whereas guns like SMGs tend to have a much faster sprint out time because they're designed to be more aggressive. With assault rifles as well as tactical rifles in Black Ops 4, our general sprint out time is going to be 300 milliseconds, with the one exception being the Vapor, which has a slightly faster sprint out time. With SMGs, on average, we have a sprint out time of 250 milliseconds, but there are a couple exceptions in there. And finally, with LMGs, the average sprint out time is roughly 325 milliseconds. Now keep in mind, the time to kill up close for a lot of the guns in this game will fall somewhere between 300 and 400 milliseconds. So this means if you get caught sprinting by somebody that's already aiming down sight and ready to shoot at you, assuming they don't have completely terrible aim, you're going to be in a lot of trouble because they can essentially kill you before your gun can even fire. This is where the Gung Ho perk comes in. Now Gung Ho states that you can fire your weapon and use equipment while sprinting, you recover from sprint faster, and you're able to move at full speed when reloading. The most important part that we're going to be focusing on today is the recover from sprint faster. This refers to your sprint out time. Now I tested with every single one of the LMGs, SMGs, tactical rifles, and assault rifles in this game, and Gung Ho is wildly inconsistent depending on the gun you're using. It's actually kind of crazy. It doesn't even just apply to an entire weapon class. Each gun has a different Gung Ho sprint out value, which kind of blew my mind a little bit. But generally speaking, Gung Ho will reduce your sprint out time by 25 to 60 percent. So a very wide range of sprint out reduction with the Gung Ho perk, but generally it is going to help you a decent amount and definitely a noticeable amount with all of the guns. If you guys played last year's Call of Duty COD World War II, their Gung Ho perk worked very, very different where it only worked for your sprint out time if you broke your sprint by firing your gun. If you stopped sprinting first and then tried to fire, or if you tried to aim down sight and then tried to fire, then Gung Ho wouldn't do anything to your sprint out time. That's not the case in Black Ops 4. Gung Ho is working 100% of the time to reduce your sprint out time, which is excellent to see. It's much more consistent this time around. So it really doesn't matter how you break your sprint, Gung Ho is going to be helping with your sprint out time. Now, how does this interact with our aim down sight time with a gun? A lot of people have had the misconception over the years that Gung Ho or the equivalent perk would allow you to aim down sight faster after sprinting by itself. This simply isn't true. It allows you to fire faster after sprinting, but not aim down sight faster after sprinting by itself. Quick Draw is the attachment that allows us to aim down sight faster, and it's the only way that we can aim down sight faster. Now quickly going over our base aim down sight times, assault rifles all have a base aim down sight time of 275 milliseconds, SMGs tend to fall somewhere between 200 to 250 milliseconds, tactical rifles are between 275 and 300 milliseconds, and LMGs all have an aim down sight time of roughly 330 milliseconds. Like I said, the only way to reduce your aim down sight time is with the Quick Draw attachment. And the quick draw attachment is much more consistent than Gung Ho. Based on my testing, it appears to give you a 20% faster aim down sight time across the board, or pretty much across the board. There were a couple exceptions to this, but then again, with frame rounding and everything like that coming into the picture, it's best to just look at it as a 20% increase to your aim down sight speed. As for the quick draw 2 attachment, which is available on some of the guns, not very many of the guns in the game, but the quick draw 2 attachment appears to have a roughly 50% reduction to your aim down sight time. So it really allows you to snap on a target super, super fast. So those are the aim down sight times and that's how quick draw works. Now let's put the two together. If you are running gung ho without the quick draw attachment, you will be able to fire your gun sooner, but it won't let you aim down sight any faster out of sprint. So let's just say you're sprinting forward, you break your sprint by aiming down sight, you're trying to snap onto your target as fast as possible. You'll be able to fire your gun sooner, but you won't be fully aimed down sight and ready to fire any faster than you would be without the gung-ho perk. Now on the other end of that, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. If you aren't running gung-ho, but you're using quick draw, 
and you do the same thing. You're trying to snap on a target coming out of sprint as fast as possible. You actually won't get the full benefit of your quick draw attachment. Your aim down sight animation will be slowed to match your sprint out time, which means if your aim down sight time is less than your sprint out time, assuming you're coming out of sprint, your aim down sight time will be slowed to match that sprint out time. It might sound a little bit confusing, but it is quite important because if you're using quick draw without gung ho and you're running around and you're breaking your sprint by aiming down sight and trying to snap onto targets while coming out of sprint, you're not really getting the benefit out of quick draw. However, when you combine the two, when you combine quick draw with gung ho, now your sprint out time has been reduced and therefore you can take full advantage of your quick draw attachment. So it's definitely best if you run these in combination, you run gung ho to reduce the sprint out time and quick draw to reduce your aim down sight time. And on top of this, we have something that I believe may be a bug. I'm not 100% sure why this is occurring the way it is. You guys may have already seen this from Drifter. I know he already covered this, but I discovered this in my testing as well. If you break your sprint by hitting the aim down sight button, so as you're sprinting, the very first thing you do is you hit the aim down sight button, your sprint out time is cut to zero. You can start firing your gun immediately. So the significance of this is if you're running gung-ho as well as quick draw, as long as you're breaking your sprint by hitting the aim down sight time just a little bit before you hit the fire button, you can start shooting at your target immediately as you start your aim down sight process and you get that full advantage of quick draw so you can aim down sight faster. And therefore, this is the most efficient and effective way of snapping on a target while coming out of sprint. So for all you really aggressive rushers out there that will sometimes get caught off guard while sprinting, combining quick draw and gung ho and breaking your sprint by aiming down sight first is by far the best method for challenging your target. Now, of course, all of this could be avoided if you're just more careful and you don't get caught sprinting. So you're pre-aiming corners and you're not sprinting all over the place when you expect to run into enemies. But as we all know, in a fast paced game like Call of Duty, at some point you're bound to be caught off guard sprinting and this is the best technique to counter that. So with that, we're gonna wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this combination? Do you think it's a bug? And also, do you think it's a good thing that we're able to start immediately as long as we use the right technique? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time. Yeah.